Hello all, today we'll have a configuration video of Cisco RV series VPN router to a 40 gate firewall. Let's get into the video. First, we'll configure the Cisco side. We are already logged into the Cisco console. Here we assign the LAN IP address 192.168.80.1 and it's a PPPoE WAN we directly connected to the WAN 1 port. Similar to the last video, here also we are having the dynamic DNS scenario. So we configure dynamic DNS in the WAN 1. I'm using a Dyn DNS account here. Let's give the credentials for Dyn DNS. Then you can mention the host name. Save the configuration. You can see it is updating. Yes, the dynamic DNS is updated successfully. Now go to the VPN and VPN pass through section. Always make sure the IPsec pass through is enabled. Then go to summary. Now we will create the tunnel. Click add. Here we will choose the gateway to gateway option. Click add again. Give the tunnel name. Choose the WAN interface. Here instead of IP only, we choose IP plus domain name. Since we are using dynamic DNS, so we choose IP plus domain name. Type the local dynamic DNS address, choose subnet and give the local IP. And in the remote group setup also, we will choose IP plus domain. And then we change IP address to IP by DNS result. Type the remote dynamic DNS address there. Then copy paste the same thing in the domain name. Then choose the subnet and type the IP address of the remote subnet. Now we can do the proposal settings. Select the proposals. Make sure you always match the proposal in both ends. I am using the basic proposal here. Then you have to choose a pre-shared key. Go to advanced. Here in advanced settings, we are not using aggressive mode. Just select keep alive. That's it. We are done the configuration for the tunnel. Click save. OK. And go to the summary. You can see the tunnel is ready and waiting for the connection. Cisco side is ready. Let's move to the 40 gate. As I mentioned earlier, here in 40 gate, also we are using dynamic DNS. Here the dynamic DNS is already configured because there is already one tunnel active in this 40 gate. If you want to know more about dynamic DNS setup in 40 gate, you can watch my previous video, which is in the description. Let's start configuring 40 gate with address object creation. Create address object for the remote location, give the name and then type the subnet and then add mask. Click OK. You no need to change any setting here. Here the local address object is already created for the already active tunnel. So we don't need to create one more local address object. We only need the remote location address object. Now let's create the tunnel. Just open IPsec tunnel, create custom tunnel. Give the name, click next, then choose remote gateway to dynamic DNS and give the remote dynamic DNS address. Choose the interface. Here I am using HSI, which is the WAN interface. As in the previous video also, here the WAN port is not used because it's an ISP managed device. So we are using a WAN VLAN, which is HSI. You can choose WAN port if your ISP directly connected to the WAN. Type the pre-shared key. Here we are using main mode, not the aggressive mode. Okay. Then choose the proposal as you choose in the Cisco device. As local ID, you just give the local dynamic DNS address. Now we will choose the address objects. First you change it to name and address, then choose the local address object, then newly created address object to remote location then add the phase 2 proposals again make sure to match the proposal in both ends choose the required proposals as you selected in Cisco that's it we have done the tunnel configuration click OK and you can see the tunnel is created now we go to the policy and create firewall policies first we will create a policy from FortiGate to Cisco give an appropriate name Choose the incoming interface as LAN, outgoing interface, newly created tunnel, 
then choose the source subnet destination subnet then the services I'm giving here all then save the policy then here you can right click and reverse the policy clone reverse then edit the reverse to policy just give the name all the interface source destination everything is already automatically reversed then enable this policy click ok here you can see the tunnel is already up to see the tunnel status go to dashboard and choose ipsec monitor you can see the tunnel is up but get the traffic through the tunnel we need to create a static route to cisco location create new static route type the lan subnet of cisco and choose the interface the new tunnel that we created click ok then create to the same ip and choose the interface black hole so we're done with the static route now the configuration of fortigate also over now let's check in cisco router the status of the tunnel let's refresh yes the tunnel is up we are connected time to test the vpn let's ping from cisco side to fortigate lan ip yes we are getting the ping let's ping from fortigate side to cisco lan ip yes we are getting the ping now we will test a host on the cisco side yes we are pinging to the host as well let's ping a host on the fortigate side from the cisco network yes with this we came to the end of the configuration of side to side vpn between cisco rv series to fortigate i hope this video is helpful for you please comment your suggestion see you soon with another video thank you very much